Hey all, hope you are good. Welcome back. In today's video, we are going to see how we can send notification in case of task failure. So, notification serves as alert to notify users about the issues that require attention or action. When the task fails within the Airflow DAG, the notification mechanism triggers an alert to notify the designated recipients about the failure. Airflow provides various notification mechanisms, with email being one of the most common. When configured, Airflow can send email notification to specified recipients informing them about task failures or other important events in the workflow. Now, let's set up to send and receive mail if task fails in Airflow. Let's head back to the web browser and type the URL myaccount.google.com slash security. Login with your required user and enable the two-step verification process so after enable of two-step verification process this will enable to send emails from this account now we need to create a temporary password so open the url myaccount.google.com then app password Again, log in with your required user. So, it pops up to create a temporary password. So, let's provide the app name and click on create. So, you will see a 16 digit password that will be created and we can use it in place of password. So, in order to send mails, let's head up to the airflow.configuration file and search for SMTP sanction and let's edit the details. So, using SMTP server, Airflow will send emails. So, for at first, we need to change the SMTP host that will be smtp.gmail.com. Next, we will be uncommenting this line and we will be providing our required email address so using this username it it will authenticate when connecting to smtp server now let's again uncomment this smtp password and let's provide the password that is being created let's copy paste it Here, remove the spaces in between. So, this password will authenticate when connecting to SMTP server. Now, let's provide the port that will be 587. And let's update the SMTP mail from. So, this specifies the default from email address used when Airflow sends the email notification. Click on save and now let's copy this airflow.configuration file from local to server where airflow is running. Let's open WinCP and copy this file to the default directory of airflow. Now let's restart our web server and scheduler. So our web server and scheduler is restarted. Now let's open the Airflow UI and here is a simple DAG demo send mail which I have configured to send mails in case of task failure. So let's at first understand the code. So here I have defined all the necessary libraries required for this DAG to run. I have created one function load underscore data function and will be raising a exception when this function runs next i have specified the default arguments and let's understand the email email on failure and email on retry parameters so email parameter specifies the email address to which airflow sends not notification for task execution status update 
we can provide one or more email address separated by commas coming to the next parameter email on failure when it is set to true airflow sends an email notification if a task fails this ensures users are promptly notified of task failure so they can take appropriate actions email on retry parameter when it is set to true airflow sends a notification if the task is retried after the failure this allow the users to be notified when the task fails initially and then successful completes on retry so currently i have set the email on retry parameter to false this means no email will be triggered when the task is retried so at next i have defined a dag with dag id demo underscore send mail and pass the default arguments catch up and schedule interval to none next i have created a task of type python operator and will be calling the function load underscore data through the python callable so if the task fails my task will be retried three times with the delay of five seconds next i have set the parameter retry underscore exceptional underscore back off so between each try the duration will be increased exponentially with each run now let's trigger the dag and let's see whether the email is being received on our required mail id or not so now you can see after the required runs the dag demo underscore send mail got failed so in total this dag ran four times first the default run and next three times due to the retry parameter being set up now let's open the gmail to check whether we have received the mail or not so we have received one mail with content as subject airflow alert task instance demo underscore send mail dot load data task got failed and here you can see try four out of four after these many attempts this function was marked as failed so here if you click on log link you will see the logs being created next we can mark the task as success by clicking on this link since i haven't set the email on retry parameter to true so for every retry attempt we have not received the mail 